Hey guys, welcome back to Beach NRC. Today, we're going to take a look at the new Spectrum DX5R Rugged, the special edition orange version with the updated touchpad, and see how much different it is than the original Rugged. So first off, let's we'll take a look at the box. It's your standard, you know, DX5 Rugged box. Looks identical to the stock to the to the original except for the sticker uh, let's see <laughs> I love that word right there water resistant case isn't that funny <laughs> anyways we'll see with this new one like I said and after my last video I with all the telemetry stuff I'm really amped on this so without further ado let's open it up and take a better look at it it's been sitting on my bench all week, and now I finally am going to actually look at it. Alright, so first off, let me get all this boxing out of the way. Okay, so like I said last time, first impressions of it, it's a really nice looking remote. The rubber on this actually seems to be more solid and better mounted than on the black one. So the touchpad on here is flat as opposed to buttons. And the ring here looks like a solider piece with no grip. It looks like it was cast sideways instead of that way. If you can see here, it's, it looks like a way better piece. So, you know, thumbs up Spectrum, you guys heard us. All of us customers that have broken that, and you guys made it better. Thank you. The other one, it looks, looks pretty much the same. You know, same bar as on the other one. Surprised they didn't go, you know, orange here. But, you know, what, what can you do, right? Compa same compartment. This original. So, yeah, looks, you know. Looks to be pretty good. So let's, without any delay, yeah, let's get some batteries in it and turn it on and see what it, uh, how well that new new touchpad functions. Across here, I use Energizer rechargeables. I uh, love them. Never failed me. These are actually uh, lipos, I believe. No, no, these are NIMS. Sorry, <coughs> NIMS. The other ones I was running were little lipos. Oh, bench. Oh. Looks like my battery's done charging. And all right. like with all new transmitters, usually they turn on when you put batteries in them. Okay, so let's power it up. Just like the other original one. Oh, that works really well. How hard is it to program my name? Let's see if I can program my name here on camera with it without it screwing up. Well, this is my first time using this. This is my first time using the new touchpad. And I gotta say, so far, You can either scroll or you can hold it.
Wow, this is a lot easier to use than the original. Look at that. A lot easier to use. So yeah, so far, I must say, I'm really, I'm liking this. First impression, they knocked it out of the park compared to the old one. The Spectrum, good job. Alright, now let's take a look at these two remotes side by side. The new one and the old one. Okay, first off, identical shape, everything, just the only difference is the color. But, right off the bat, the rubber, like on the, this has been like super loose and weak since day one. This one is nice and it feels more firm. The, the ring, like I said, split in the middle. This one seems to be perfect. We'll look at the back side of them. Touch pads. This one has got buttons, which makes a pain in the butt to use on the good best of days. <laughs> this one, as I was just using it, showing you guys, it is smooth operating, back and forth, no problems at all. I'm really, really looking forward to programming old red. Like I legit am. I'm, I'm stoked for once, right? So, but like, look at this side, you know, honestly when it comes to the doors, I like this stuff. This one looks a lot better than this one, just because it's, like I said, just black on black. Just too much black, per for my taste personally. And this side, uh, yeah. both front bars are the same, same. So, but otherwise, yeah, the bottoms. Everything's pretty much identical, except for, like I said, the touch pads. Both of them weigh the same. I was actually, you know, impressed with the button sticks. Let me turn them both on now. Both of them on. The one thing I've noticed, this one, when it comes on, in the corner, it goes 1.05, and this one does the 1.06. Now, I don't know if that's just, like, Technology update between like a diff the difference between the two of them. What makes this one more of a smart e uh, remote as opposed to this one? But having this one hooked up to my daughter's truck, it does all the same functions and stuff like that that all the smart technology stuff does. So really, I don't see the difference. But all in all, so far, the only difference between these two remotes is, like I said, this, the keypad or the button pad. Otherwise, hopefully this one it was more water resistant than this one was. And I don't have all the problems I did with this one. But that's what we're all about here at Beach NRC. We're about finding out what like, the problems with anything we can find. Like We'll thrash on everything to find the weak spots. And very rarely do we find stuff that meets you know, like, all of our needs. You'll see that in our next video here with Old Red, where <laughs> if he's been tried, tested, and true, and everything on him has been put to the test and has never failed me. And that's on our next episode. But for this one, I just wanted to show you guys the new Rugged. I really like this remote. I really liked this one when it came out and I got it before I started having all the issues with it. So I'm hoping this one is the answer to that all those problems and yeah I look, I look forward to it that's all I'm gonna say I'm really really amped but until next time I'm Mike get out there and have some fun